Okay, good morning, Bernard. Good morning, Dr. Priscilla. It's good to be it's good to be able to have a class with you again. So welcome back. Thank you. You're very welcome. I'm happy too. All right. So today we're going to read from Breaking News English, An Angry Elephant in India. This is a level three. Okay, you may begin. Okay. During a festival in India Southern Kerala State, an elephant went on a rampage, attacking nearly 27 vehicles parked near a temple. Festivals like these often book hundreds of captive elephants to attract crowds, and accidents are not uncommon. The big animal was teetered by the tusks along with four other elephants but he broke free and started flinging parking vehicles, including rickshaw and motorbikes around. Okay, this word is tethered, tethered. Tethered. Mm -hmm. And the word tethered means to be tied. Ah, okay. Okay, tied, okay. 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 Continue. Throughout the stroll, throughout the strop, two people climbed the back of the animal, but they were unable to calm it. Apart from a, a few broken motors, no one was injured. Difficult world, go on a rampage. Mm -hmm be very angry and destroy things. Tethering. Tethered. Tied, tethered. 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 Tied by chains or ropes. Tusk. One of the two elephant's horns in front of his face. Flying through. Rickshaw. A light to wheeled passenger vehicle pulled by a person. Strop, the elephant's bad mood. Cling, angan. Okay, I think this word is strop, but I'm not sure. Let me check. Let me check to see what. Strop. I think that word is strop, but I'm not sure. Let me check to see what that word might be. S T R O P. Let's see. Define. S not speak. Yeah. Drop. Well, it's not even give me. Okay, let's put in this here. Okay. Uh, okay, pronounced maybe. It doesn't pronounce it for me. So let's see if YouTube has it. YouTube. Videos. Well, and S T R P. Strong. No, it isn't. So I'm not really sure how that word is pronounced. Strop. I think strop. it's strop, though. Okay, so this word is tethered. 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 And it means to be tied down or something like that. Um, tethered throughout, throughout. 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 Strop. 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 And calm. 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 And tethered again. Tether. Fling. Fling. Strop. Strop. Good. Okay. And this one there is flinging. Flinging. Flinging, which means to throw, okay. to toss away. Um, it's, it's like swinging, but flinging. Swinging his tail. Flinging his tail. Okay. Now, 
there's a festival in India and in India, this elephant went on a rampage. What is a rampage? Uh, a rampage mm -hmm. is, a, is a fight when an elephant became angry, mm -hmm. and, uh, began to destroy things around him. Very good. Randomly, it goes on a rampage. Exactly. Okay. And so these elephants attacked 27 vehicles that were parked. And this type of this type of festival usually has lots of elephants tethered together by their tusks. So I guess the elephants are holding I think I can remember seeing an elephant holding holding a elephant's tail with his tusk and then the tusk behind the next elephant is holding a tail and so on and so on and so on. And then they decided that they don't want to do that. Okay, so tell me, what is this article about? What is this article about? This article is about a festival in India. In this festival, we can see a lot of elephants who are painted in different colors and dressed in beautiful clothes. And all the elephants were tied, one in front of the other, by the tusk and uh, some uh, chains. Mm -hmm. And uh, one day, one of the elephants became hungry and began to start a rampage against vehicles, again, wrist show. And uh, fortunately, nobody was injured, but the, the damage to the vehicles was great. Okay. Uh, Are you sure? Did they say no one was injured? Yes, they say it in the in the article at the end of the article. They say no one was injured. Okay, apart from a few broken motors, no one was injured. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. So no one was injured when this happened. In the U.S., they have banned elephants being used in circuses now because they said that it was a mistreatment of the animals it was cruelty to animals so no no longer are the elephants used in the what is it called the greatest show on earth what is what is this called the greatest show the it, circus the circus we had the circus called the greatest show on earth the Ringling Barnum Bailey Circus. We used to have this circus here. I didn't hear this word. Is okay, the it was called Ringling, let's see, Ringling, Ringling Brothers Barney and Bailey Circus. Okay. That used to come to the U.S. in I mean, so many states, but people rallied around saying that, people rallied saying that this was cruelty to elephants to have them in a circus. Mm -hmm. So it is banned. So circuses are banned. So circuses, circuses, circuses. So the circus. The circus is no, not in existence. Oh, I, I, I now. And that may not just be just the US, it may be throughout, you know, other countries as well. Yes, uh, yesterday, for example, I mm -hmm. saw in the news that the wells uh, in captivity in the in the Russia in Russia, where mm -hmm. where uh, there was a rally to ask to the President Putin to yeah. to make the the wells free okay. because the wells are in the park prisoners 
-hmm. like, in, like in jail. Yes. And the, the, the goal is to sell this wealth to China because oh. in China, the mm -hmm. people are very uh, enjoy the, the show with wealth. Okay. Okay. So tell me, what do you think? Do you think animals should be used to entertain humans? No, I suppose today, because of the pleasure of the video, you can see people in their natural habitats. Mm -hmm. And you don't need to go to the circus. You don't need to go to, to the attraction parks mm -hmm. to see the animals. You can okay. see them in a big screen and you can see them living their real life. In their natural habitat. In their natural habitat. Yes. This is true. That's a good way to look at it. Uh, instead of being entertained and made to behave in an unnatural environment, if we can just have people go undersea with a camera and show us maybe in programs like PBS or some documentaries, we can see the animals and how they behave in the natural habitat. I think this will also help with perhaps the extinction of animals if we didn't um, put them in artificial places. Mm -hmm. yes. So now let's see if we can use these words. Have you ever seen an animal go on a rampage or, or even humans sometimes may go on a rampage? Have you ever experienced that either watching it on television or seeing it in person or maybe even participating in a rampage? Mm, I try to imagine. But my imagination is not very good. <laughs> no, okay. I, don't, I don't remember. I don't well, remember. maybe maybe you've seen on television where um, animals in their natural habitat they go on a rampage to hunt down something, and they will destroy things in their path, or maybe locusts. You've seen locusts that go and rampage a a, a field of crops by eating as they fly in areas the a um a locust is like a um what is a locust like some type of mosquito or a grasshopper have you ever seen a, a locust locust I, I don't understand this word locust okay let's see if i can find a, an image of a locust okay let's see a locust locust image it's an insect of sort image okay do you see my screen uh, the same screen angry elephant in india okay stop sharing and then share again okay so this would be a locust it looks like a grasshopper. Oh, okay. Locusts. Mm -hmm. So what they, they do is that they eat everything in sight. They can, oh. they can destroy field. Let's see if I can find, let's see. Let's see. Locust. Okay, locust destroying crops. Okay, I understand. Okay, so look at this. Look at this. They call it a swarm. Do you see the video? Oh, yes, I can okay, see. Okay, so a locust hit Egypt, causing citizens to burn tires in an attempt to ward them off. Let's see if I can see if we can see them. Oh, okay, there they are. Do you see them? Uh, not not. It's so many of them, but I think I've seen them worse in a worse. You see all of those okay. black spots? Okay. Oh, I saw that once in my life. It was in Madagascar, in mm -hmm. the highland of Madagascar. We were in a taxi mm -hmm. in, in a big field, 
yeah. with a, a plane, in fact, mm -hmm. and suddenly there was a burst of insects who, and the sky became dark. Yes. We were in, in the middle of a milli, millions, of millions of locusts. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, I yeah. saw that once in my life. And was, I've never seen live ones. I've seen them on TV. And when they come, they eat everything in their path that's, that's alive. It greenery. Was, it was a desolation after the, the past. Yeah, it, it is something to... Madagascar, do. but battles. Okay. Okay, and this one happened in Egypt somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Here's okay. another one. Let's see if this one's better. There. Oh, okay. Oh, it, okay. Yeah. Super locust plagues, like Madagascar. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and do you have do you have Netflix? Do you have Netflix, Bernard? No, no, no. There was a great movie that I watched. It was The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind. That was a great movie. Uh, it's on Netflix. All right, so here we're back again to our. Oh yeah, yes, the, yeah, yeah. last week I went to the movies. I mm -hmm. saw a big film. I don't know if you know, uh, Green Book. Green Book. Green Book. Yes, the movie. The title is Green Book. <laughs> I think I've heard it, but I haven't seen it. Is it the way that uh, people of color travel from place to place? Yes, is the driver is a white man, driver mm -hmm. of a famous pianist who is yeah. black. At okay. the at the time in nineteen in the nineteen sixties, mm -hmm. at the time of the segregation in the south of the USA. Okay, I I went to Greensboro, North Carolina, to a family reunion, and they were talking, and we went to the museum. And they told us about the, the green book where people of color traveled in safety by knowing where to, how to travel for safety. Yeah. But no, I haven't seen the movie. I'll try to find it called Green Book. I had heard about it. And yeah. some, I think there was controversy over the truth or the validity of it. Uh, but I don't know if they were, if they, said it was a good movie or not but i i had heard about it so maybe well, i'll try and check it out i think it's 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 really appreciated in france it's okay a, it's a real success okay very good very mm -hmm. good all right so let's talk a few more minutes about the vocabulary words are there any questions about tethered tusk fling rickshaw cling strop no uh, it's some of these words are new for me, of course. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, which ones? Which are the new ones? Uh, go on the rain page. But, but now you understand that the animals are acting in a very wild or uncalm manner. Yes. Tethered. 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 Mm -hmm. And Us. tethered is in westerns. When people rode horses, instead of driving cars, they would tether their horse to a pole. They would tie the, tie the reins of the horse to a pole so the horse wouldn't go away. So it just means to tie something down. Mm -hmm. and, and rickshaw is new for me. A light oh. two-wheeled passenger vehicle pulled by a person. Oh, I, I know, I, I know this world because okay. I went one week in India a long time ago and mm -hmm. I used to the rickshaw to travel from ah. short distances. Okay, okay. I can imagine what it looks like instead of having a horse or another animal, a human is pulling. Mm. Yeah. And so, then to cling is just to hang on. To cling is to hang on. All right, I'm going to stop recording now. Mm -hmm.